What's up, everyone? It's Bones here. I'd like to begin this video by giving a huge shout out to TCG Player for the opportunity to be a part of their affiliate program. If you want to help a content creator out, all you have to do is click on the TCG Player link down below, and it won't cost you anything either. Now, the cool thing about Castro Raid Raptor, beyond its going second capabilities with Fenrir and the Unicorn being able to potentially show what you're playing against with its ability to banish a card from your opponent's extra deck face down, because it's one card combo we have access into a lot of cool stuff here, and we're going to add ourselves the Castillo Papayos. You'll also notice that we were able to use either Terraforming, the Field Spell, or Unicorn to get to this, but there's also another way that you can do this with the Castillo Fenrir on its own that I'll show after, and we're going to use the effect of Fenrir to get ourselves the Rise Heart, use the effect of Rise Heart to Special Summon itself, as we'll then go into the Arsenal Falcon, use Arsenal Falcon in order to Special Summon ourselves the Norlanius, and this is a new card from Phantom Nightmare. It reads, during your main phase, if this card with normal or special summon this turn, you can target one Raid Raptor monster you control, add one Raid Raptor monster with a different level than that monster from your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, increase or decrease the level of all Raid Raptor monsters you currently control by one. You can only use each effect of Raid Raptor Norlanius once per turn. Now we're going to use the effect of Norlanius in order to get ourselves the search for the Pain Lanius, and this is really cool because now we have three level fours technically on board, and now we can use the Norlanius along with the Rise Heart in order to get ourselves a search for the Raider's Wing and have ourselves the Norlanius in the graveyard for that level manipulation effect. Now, it's really important to get the Raid Raptor's Wing or the Raider's Wing here because you want to detach the card from the Arsenal Falcon. You'll also be able to get targeting protection on your Exceed that you go into, but we're going to use the effect of the Norlanius. Go into our Brave Strix, and this is the next new card. It's a rank 5 that takes two level 5 monsters. It reads, a Raid Raptor Exceed monster that has this card as a material gains this effect. This card gains attack equal to its rank times 100. You can only use one of the following effects of Brave Strix once per turn, and only once that turn. You can detach one material from this card, set one Raid Raptor spell trap from your deck. If this card has a winged beast as material, you can detach one material from this card, add one rank up magic spell from your deck to your hand. Now, really good effects, but we're going to be able to get ourselves the search for the Phantom Knight's rank up, as we'll then be able to pass on to our opponent's turn. And now with just the Raider's Wing being the kind of only semi-brick that we play, Raid Raptors have the ability to go into Kali Yuga with just one card and via the Cash Tira cards, which is really powerful in my opinion. So with this, I'll take you on to the next combo. This is the Fenrir combo that gets you into the Kali Yuga, and we're going to use the effect of Fenrir in order to get ourselves the search for the Rise Heart. Use the effect of the Rise Heart. We'll then be able to use the effect of Rise Heart to make it level 7 so that we can go into our Arsenal Falcon again. Use the effect of Arsenal Falcon in order to get ourselves the Norlanius. Use the effect of Norlanius in order to get ourselves the search for the Pain Lanius. We'll then be able to go into the Force Tricks after we special summon out the Pain. We'll then get ourselves the search for the Tribute Lanius, I believe, this time around. We're going to get the Tribute Lanius, and that'll send the Mimicry, and then the Mimicry will be able to search the Raider's Wing, getting us to the same point where we were last time, where we have the Norlanius in the graveyard for the level 5 access. We're able to detach a card from the Arsenal Falcon with the Raider's Wing, and now we can go into our Brave Strix. So we're going to use the effect of Brave Strix in order to get ourselves the rank up magic. Now, for the third combo, this just shows a different direction that you can take if you don't want to summon Kali Yuga for whatever reason. But we're going to special summon out the Fenrir, or the Unicorn, get ourselves the Papayos, as we'll then be able to special summon out the Fenrir. Use the effect of the Fenrir in order to get ourselves the Rise Heart. We can then special summon out the Rise Heart. We'll then be able to go into our Arsenal Falcon, as we'll be able to use the effect of Arsenal Falcon. Special summon out Norlanius, as we'll then use the effect of the Norlanius, get ourselves the search for the Pain Lanius, use the effect of the Pain Lanius, which will special summon itself out, making itself level 4, also taking 500 damage. We'll then go into the Force Strix as we'll use its effect, get the Norlanius in the graveyard as we'll search ourselves out the Tribute, use the effect of Tribute, which will get ourselves into the Mimicry in the graveyard. With the Mimicry in the graveyard and two level 4s on board, we can now get ourselves the Roost. We'll then use the effect of the Norlanius, make them level 5 as we'll be able to then activate the Roost, go into our Brave Strix, use the effect of the Roost, which will be able to get ourselves the search for our next new card, the Rise Rank Up Magic Raid Raptors Force, and this is a quick play that reads during the main phase or your opponent's battle phase, target two or more Raid Raptor Exceed monsters you control and or in your 
graveyard, so that alone is really good, including a monster on the field. If at least two remain face up at resolution, special summon one Raid Raptor Exceed monster from your extra deck with a rank equal to their combined ranks, and if you do, attach that targeted monster to it as material. This is treated as an Exceed summon. Transfer their materials to the summon monster. You can only activate one Rise Rank Up Magic or whatever it's called per turn. Now, we're going to continue here by setting the Rank Up Magic, I believe, or no, using the effect of the Brave Strix, as we'll get ourselves the search for the Rank Up Magic Raid Force, and what this is for is to give us the Rank 6, because we need a Rank 13 access, so we're just going to end up setting the Rise Rank Up Magic as able to use the effect of Roost, and this will give us the ability to draw one. We'll set the Rank Up Magic as we'll go on to our opponent's turn, and from here we can then use the Rank Up Magic at any point where you want to respond to your opponent, as we'll use the rank 6 along with the Arsenal Falcon in order to go into the rank 13. And this is the new Raid Raptors kind of towers like monsters. It takes 5 level 13 winged beast monsters, or you can special summon it out with the Rise Rank Up Magic. And it's unaffected by other card effects. If this card is Exceed Summoned, you can destroy as many cards your opponent controls as possible. Then, if this card has 3 or more Raid Raptor Exceed monsters with different names as material, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined original attack of the destroyed monsters. Once per turn, you can detach three materials from this card, then target one Raid Raptor Exceed monster in your graveyard. This card gains that monster's effects until the end of this turn. But we're now going to be able to use the Roost along with the effect of the Rebellion, which is really cool because it also chain blocks the Roost while also being unaffected, so your opponent really can't do anything. And now we're going to add the last new card that I'll be showing in this video. There is another new card that we don't use in this deck, so I just didn't feel it was worth showing. But Raid Raptor Barrage is a trap card that reads, if you control a Raid Raptor monster, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, or if you control a Raid Raptor Exceed monster, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls, negate that card's effects until the end of this turn. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your Raid Raptor monsters that is banished or in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and you can only use one Raid Raptor Glorious Bright effect per turn. And then with this, we'll pass on to whatever our opponent has, unless of course we have more responses. Now this next combo is the first non-Cash Tira combo, and this shows what you're trying to do whenever you don't see the Cash Tira stuff, which is really just get two level fours on board. And we're going to do just that as we're going to go into the Raider's Knight. The Raider's Knight can get us into the Brave Strix. Now we can use the Brave Strix effect in order to grab ourselves the Bank of Magic Skip Force, I believe it's called, and we're then going to use its effect, which will get us access into the Arsenal Falcon. And as we've seen before, once you get into Arsenal Falcon, you're just able to do so much because you have the entire Raid Raptor pull at your disposal, and Norlanias gets you into the rank 4 access regardless for 4 Strix, while also giving you the level manipulation in the graveyard for later, as we'll then be able to go into the Wise Strix, and we'll also be able to trigger the effect of the Arsenal Falcon in graveyard, so something I've forgotten to point out is that at any point, if you were to get like Nibiru or anything, then you can also get the effect of the Rise Falcon in the graveyard, which is just a really nice thing that Raid Raptors have going for them, because they don't really lose to too many hand traps. It just kind of depends on the hand, but they can play through a lot of hand traps, which is a really strong thing for this format, as we're now going to be able to use the effect of the Y Strix, get ourselves the Rise, as we'll then be able to go into the Force Strix, use the effect of Force Strix. The Force Strix will then grab us the Tribute Lanius, we'll then be able to use the effect of the Mimicry, get ourselves the Roost, we'll then activate the Roost, use the effect of Roost, and then at this point, if you would like to, you can use the effect of Rise during your turn in order to get the Roost effect for your turn, and then this will give you the ability to get the trap, or you can save the board wipe for your opponent's turn. Depends on what you want to do, but then we'll use the effect of the Roost, getting us a draw, putting the resources back in the deck, which is just another really strong thing, because since you're able to put your Mimicry Lanius and stuff like that back, you really don't need to how much space you put into Raid Raptor cards in your deck. Now, for this final combo, this one just takes the Norlanius plus the Phantom Knight rank up magic spell. This is a really cool combo, as we're able to add ourselves the Pain Lanius off of the Norlanius, we'll then be able to use the effect of Lanius in order to go into the Force Strix, and the entire point of this is the Force Strix to get that Detach, getting you the Raider's Wing, and then from here you can use the effect of the Raider's Wing, getting that final Detach so that you can activate the Knight's Rank Up Magic. This gives access into the Brave Strix. So you've seen from here that the Brave Strix is basically combo, as we're going to add ourselves the Skip Force, activate the Skip Force, go into the Arsenal. From here we can then use the effect of Arsenal. We'll be able to Special Summon ourselves out the Tribute Lanius, use the effect of Tribute Lanius for the Mimicry. We already have a level 4 on board, which is really nice as well, so we're going to get the
the roost then be able to use the tribute the arsenal falcon in order to go into our y strix use the effect of y strix along with the arsenal out the ultimate falcon bring out the vanishing lanius here we'll then be able to use the effect of the roost in order to get ourselves the barrage we'll resolve the roost that was just chain link one rather but we'll use the effect of the y strix on a new chain link in order to get ourselves the rank up magic raid raptors force now we can go into our force tricks use the effect of force strix we'll then be able to grab us a copy of the strangle lanius and now we can use the effect of strangle lanius which will special summon itself out the effect in order to bring back a raid raptor as we'll then have access into the sp little knight you can also go into another rank four and though i think we are dark locked because of the strangle lanius so do keep that in mind but then we also have the barrage that we can set from here and we'll then be able to pass to our opponent not only do we have the falcon but we also have the ability to go into the raid raptors for so that we can get the rebellion the board wipe plus another towers like monster we then also have the draw one from the roost then we also have the barrage negate we have the sp little knight so just a lot of cool things that you can do but with all of the combos out of the way we can get onto the deck profile and the deck profile is very straightforward as you have all your cash engine cards here and the only aid raptors that you really want to invest to in my opinion are the vanishing lanius and the reason for it is because if you see the raid raptor part of your deck then you really only want to get level fours out and the thing with the tribute lanius is that not a one card combo if you're not playing fuzzy i just don't think it's as good and you can special summon this out which ends up sending the mimicry to the graveyard anyways so the strangle lanius is something that you could play at a higher number if you would like to but i just felt that the vanishing lanius was the best thing to play because regardless if you saw it with any other raid raptor monster you were always going to get that rank four access so that's why the ratios look like they do one raider's wing along with the one pain lanius which are our search target this is your primary special summon target off of the arsenal falcon which is just a one of and the main point is either get your cash cards or the vanishing plus another level four on to the extra deck it is pretty tight and if you would like to take out the raid force rank six in order to play something else i'm just showing that this is an option that you can do outside of that you really are sticking to primarily raptor extra deck the reason that even your cash tier cards are raid raptor cards you end up going into full raid raptor combo because of them now, other options that i would like to talk about that you may not see in the extra deck are things like abyss dweller and things like number 41 that you can play there's also the simorg if you would like to play an extra extender but i didn't think it was necessary because the vanishing lanius plus any level four raid raptor will get you into combo and then the primary way of getting into combo is your castira cards and then there's stuff like shifter which will hurt regardless as it hurts pretty much every deck in the four format that doesn't play it and then there's other options like cross out and called by if you want to play around hand traps better that's pretty much all i have for you today so i'll get onto the card by card we have the one terraforming the one papayas the one birth the three copies of the raid sauce the three copies of the unicorn the three copies of the fenrir rise heart wing we then have the one pain lanius the one mimicry the one copy of the tribute the one copy of the strangle we then have the barrage the one roost copy of nor we then have the three vanishing lanius the skip force the raid force we then have the one phantom knight rank up we then have the raid raptors force the three copies of ash the three copies of droll three enemy controller and enemy controller is really cool because of the cash tira cards sometimes you'll end up getting your vanishing lanius plus another level four and a cash tira card so being able to special summon out a cash tira card bait a potential hand trap with it and then tribute it away from opponent in order to steal something from theirs just so much value to be had there and then we have the three imperm we then have the two four strix the one raiders knight we then have the one arc rebellion the one brave strix the one air raid we then have the one copy of the big eye the one copy of the arsenal falcon kali yuga we then have the ultimate falcon rebellion falcon zeus typhon sp little knight y strix to round out the deck profile so for everyone who's made it this far i'd like to thank you for watching and for the 700 plus subs i truly appreciate your support and really glad to see that number keep on going up it's really exciting but, but we've monetized the channel giving us access to supers and memberships which means that more awesome stuff is on the horizon to get the channel membership just click on the description below and there will be a link that takes you there you'll also notice a free discord link that i've made for us too if you want to support me as a content creator even if you can't donate supers or get a membership for the channel clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons help a lot too for those wondering i do plan on making updates to the channel as the support on the channel grows anyways i hope to see you on the next one it's bones signing out